Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. What I want to talk to you about today is how to modify jigs. Have you ever noticed when you're out on the water that jigs, just like any other bait, seem to work better once they've been broken in? You catch a few fish on them, they start getting beat up, and all of a sudden you've just got that one jig that works better than the rest. So my question to you is, why go out and fish them and wait for them to get beat up when you can spend a couple of minutes doing modifications that get that jig to look just right for the way your fish like them to look. So what I'm going to do is take you back inside, sit down and show you how to modify jigs the way I like to do it. Uh, it's very, very simple. You're going to need a handful of jigs and then you're going to need a regular pair of scissors and a pair of thinning shears uh, used for cutting hair. I'll show you what we do. Let's head on inside. I want to do a couple of simple modifications here. Uh, like I said before, there's no reason that you should be fishing with a stock jig. Just like any other bait, why not modify it and make it custom to the way you like to fish? Now there are a couple simple modifications that everybody should do to any jig. The first one is make sure that the weed guard is the right length. Most jigs come with a weed guard that is a little too long. Now I see guys do all sorts of crazy things. They cut a couple of strands off or they do uh, a big diagonal cut. The first thing you need to understand about cutting a weed guard is that the shorter you make it, the stiffer it becomes. So cutting it really short is not always the answer to getting a better hookup ratio. So what I do personally is I bend the weed guard and I find where the weed guard passes the barb of the hook. And that's the point I'm going to cut at. That's where I like all my jigs to be, flush with the barb of the hook. Then I just grab my scissors, make one simple even cut. I don't cut them at a weird angle or anything like that. Just one even cut, even with the barb. That's how I like my weed guards to be on my jigs personally. Now as far as modifications go, like I said before, that beat up look is often what gets fish to commit. Because if you have too big and bulky of a skirt, um, sometimes it just doesn't look natural. When the skirt length is, uh, is varying and it's beat up a little bit, then it starts looking a little more natural like what's actually out there in nature. So there's a few things that you can do. The first one, you know, a lot of people do this, is just the standard finesse cut. I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you what I like to do. So what I do for a standard finesse cut, or what everybody does, rather, is you divide your strands. You have your inner strands and your outer strands, and you separate them. And what I mean by that is, these are separated. Let me pick up another jig. When you hold a jig up, your inside strands are this inner layer inside here, and then the outside strands are the ones coming out of the top and laying over. So what you wanna do is just cut some of your outside strands nice and short. We want the actual scissors for this one. Just a couple of nice smooth cuts. A Little bit too long. Now what you have is a much less bulky, more natural looking jig. That's a standard finesse cut. That's what a lot of people do. We've got the finesse jig out of the way. The next modification that I do is give the jig more of a mottled look. What I mean by that is we're just going to thin out the skirt, make it uneven, make it look more like it does after you start catching a few bass on a jig. You know, you notice when you start catching fish that uh, strands get pulled out, strands get cut, you know, they break off. So you end up with a jig that's very, very uneven. So we imitate that before you get a single bite. And the way you do that, now this one uh, will tend to take a little bit of practice. My honest recommendation is to go get some cheap replacement spinnerbait skirts or cheap replacement jig skirts or find some jigs you don't use very often and practice with those because if you start practicing on your good jigs, you might ruin a few jigs before you get the hang of it. So what I do is I spread the skirt out a little bit on my hand and then we grab the thinning, the thinning shears and as you can see they're similar to a normal pair of scissors but they have grooves in them. They're used for cutting hair. You can pick them up anywhere. I got mine at Walmart, they're not too expensive. And then all you do is start cutting that skirt. And what it does 
is just cut some of the strands. So what we get when we do this a couple of times is a skirt where everything's not the same length anymore and it starts looking a little bit more scattered. And it gives it that nice fished appearance. And that's starting to be more like what you want to use. You know, there's that one compared to uh, a skirt that hasn't been modified yet. It's a lot less uniform, looks a little bit more natural, and that's what I like. Now, to take it one step further, I combine them. I combine the finesse jig with that more modeled, thinned out look. And the way I do that is, again, separate the skirt material. So you've got the inner strands on one side, the outer strands on the other side. What I'm going to do is take those thinning shears again and I'm going to cut my outer strands, the ones above the head. And what you get is a cross between a finesse jig and that more thinned out look. And I just really, really like the way that that jig appears. So that's what I like to do to modify a jig. There are all sorts of other modifications, but those are my favorite. So there's, let me get some of this out of the way. There's the unmodified jig right there, totally stock. You can see what it looks like. Next to that one is the finesse jig. You can see what that looks like. Then the two that I like, more thinned out, that modeled look, that's a great option. And then that combination with the finesse jig and the modeled look, just deadly. And it gives your jig, again, just a different appearance from what everybody else is fishing. I hope this helps. I hope it gets you a few more bites on your next trip. Have a great day.